Hello, my name is Bianca Washington Chungin, and you are here with us again with our virtual component of our Art Hop, and specifically our May 7th, 2021 Art Hop. And we have a really special guest with us today. He is the co owner of Gazelle Sports, who has some really great um, and, and really um, important connected into the community and also to what's happening in the world. Um, uh, announcement um, about what Gazelle Sports is doing. So uh, without further ado, I want to introduce Chris Lampin Crowell with us today. So thank you so much for being with us, Chris. Hi, Bianca. Thanks for uh, having me and, and hosting this conversation. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so excited, first of all, to to learn more about Gazelle Sports and for those who, you know, may have um, not been downtown as much or um, know too much about Gazelle Sports uh, and also to just talk um, more about how you're getting involved in um, Art Hop, especially for June. You're, of course, with us for May 7th for our virtual interviews. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with our first discussion question. And can you tell us a little bit about your role at Gazelle Sports and um, what you do? Yeah, so um, actually 36 years ago, um, I helped start Gazelle Sports. Uh, I was wow. a young, young man uh, coming out of uh, Western Michigan University. I, I graduated from Loy Norx uh, and then Western Michigan University. Um, I, I was a runner. I ran track and field and cross country for both. Um, and I ended up, you know, instead of moving forward with a career path that I thought I was going to do, I ended up just <laughs> loving helping people in the retail setting, uh, encourage people to run and move and, and be fit. And so um, myself and my co-founder, uh, Bruce Johnson, um, had the opportunity to start a little store on the Kalamazoo Mall um, in 1985. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of aging myself here. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I have many employees now that are younger uh, than the, the store. So yeah, they were born and we're, 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 we're here 36 years later. So um, have enjoyed being part of the downtown uh, Kalamazoo Renaissance and evolution and really um, kind of the heart uh, of, of, of this community. So. Um, and, and excited to be part of the connection of, of uh, art in, 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 in everywhere in, in our lives, but certainly in downtown Kalamazoo. That's fantastic. And you know what? Um, I, I don't even know if I need to go on to the second question because it was how long have you been actually in downtown, physically downtown? But you've been there, as you said, for 36 years, correct? So you haven't moved? Yeah, so lots of different changes and challenges along the way, as uh, every, every business has and uh, every organization has. But we were in a, a small 1,800 square foot store to begin with um, that's part of our current space, which is 7,300 square feet. So there were some additions along the way that we, you know, knocked down some walls and um, mm. actually moved across the street to uh, where Walgreens was for a while, uh, Walgreens for wow. a long time. We and while this building was um, was renovated and, and actually rebuilt, um, it's it it was initially built in the 1860s and it really was just crumbling. And so um, we were very mm. blessed to have a landlord that um, decided to rebuild it in 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 the way that it would have looked in. The 1800s, but uh, with all of the uh, current uh, technologies and uh, structural uh, you know, needs and things like that, so we're we're very blessed to be here and uh, continue to look forward to being here a long time. Awesome, absolutely, that's so awesome. And I I'm a Bronco too as well, um, so definitely go Broncos. And um, I have definitely enjoyed um, going into Gazelle Sports and seeing even when we were in person, when we can, you know, when we were there in person, uh, being able to go into Gazelle Sports and see you all support our local artists. And um, that has been a joy. Um, so I want to get to what your mission is and how that ties into this mural that was created. So for people who are watching last year, um, with Kalamazoo Partnership and also to other businesses around um, downtown, um, artists got together and were commissioned to um, create these beautiful murals um, that 
were painted on plywood and um, then uh, displayed around uh, Arcadia Park. And um, Chris, you all have um, your mural still. And can you just tell us what you all are looking to do with that in these coming weeks and um, how your mission ties into what you're doing? Yeah, thank you. So um, actually, you know, what happened in, in, in June of, of June 2nd of, 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 you know, last year, 2020, um, was, you know, a, a, the, the anger and the sadness and everything that was around, you know, what we all witnessed of George Floyd's murder. And with that, there was a, there was a lot of fear and a lot of un misunderstanding and um, I'd say a lack of communication and just a, a lot of, of kind of energy around like what was going to happen. And there, although there were a lot of peaceful protests and people really trying to, trying to express their anger and disappointment and sadness around this and really, you know, it, uh, trying to come together, there also was this whole other group of people that came in late that night of June 2nd um, that were, you know, mostly out of town, just vandals. And they, they um, looted our store. So our store was broken into. Um, a lot of um, uh, a lot of apparel was taken, um, and and which was really sad in and of itself. But th that wasn't anything to do with the protests. It was it really was two separate incidents that got uh, tangled up and 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 um, and misunderstood. I think um, in mm -hmm. terms of who was doing it, why they were doing it, and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so um, what happened is we. Um, with broken windows, uh, had an opportunity to um, create, put a, put a mural over the top of one of our broken windows that was going to take some time. Um, and so we actually commissioned James Jackson and James Palmore to do a uh, poster um, or an art piece of, of George Floyd. And, and that's what happened. So we, we had done, we commissioned that separately than the Kalamazoo uh, Downtown Partnership, which we, we also had, we had plywood up, which I'm sorry to say, you know, again, reaction to fear and just everybody doing that. And I, 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 I think that was, that was too bad, but we did have Alexander Ladd, um, who was the artist for actually doing some other work on our, our plywood. So um, yeah. we're, we're excited to have Alexander back involved um, in June. But for May, we, what we have is, um, you know, James and James, uh, their poster will be going back up here this week uh, at, oh, at great. Gazelle Sports. That's so fantastic. That's that's so amazing. And and yeah, there were so many um, collaborative voices and needs, you know, in the downtown community to to um, show us a place of solidarity and also um, just hey, we're standing here in this. We are we're here, <laughs> we're here together. And I think that's just um, a great, a great way to use the arts as change and um, communicating um, even with Gazelle Sports where you all um, stood at that point too. And so um, thank you for sharing that. And um, one thing too that is really exciting is that people on June uh, 4th, which is our next art hop around the corner can come and you know you all are going to be an art hop stop official stop so we'll be able to not only see um the mural still i believe but also a chance to see your artist that's also going to be um with you that yeah day. alexander will be here um and he does fantastic very unique art so we're super excited about that that's so great. That's so great. And I'm, I'm also too, like definitely looking forward to talking to hopefully both James, um, James is, is <laughs> um, the artist. And I, I do remember when that mural was being put up um, at Gazelle and I was just like, wow, that number one is it's, it's such a moving piece. And to bring that back up at this crucial time this month is, um, says a lot, Chris, about, um, you know, how you all are here for the community. And so I'm excited to continue to spread the word. And 
Uh, it, so you said it's going to be put up this week. Are people able to come see it? And is it going to be outside or inside? We actually are going to put it up inside, um, right inside. So you will be able to see it, um, but mm -hmm. just to protect it. Um, it, yes. did, it did get a little bit damaged last year being outside for such a long time. So we will have it inside. Um, but yeah, and so, you know, we it will be up for this month's Art Hop, you know, this Friday coming up. Um, and um, so, yeah, happy to have people come and observe yeah. it. And uh, and hopefully James and James will be able to talk about what they were doing and, 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 and their commitment mm -hmm. to create this voice uh, that, that really was more of a self-reflection and looking at Kalamazoo and wanting to do the right thing. Um, but not only wanting to do the right thing, but as you said, bring us together in solidarity. Um, yeah. And you had mentioned our mission, and our mission is really to uh, pursue, encourage, and celebrate a healthy lifestyle. And that's yeah. really inclusive of all people. And that's yeah. really what we want to do is like, let's let's run or walk or work out or just be in the downtown environment together in a diverse, you know, inclusive way um, that we honor each other. And um, because that's, I think, what Kalamazoo uh, aspires to be and, and, and we should be. So, so this, this is not about, you know, creating some sort of, uh, you know, I would say statement about, you know, what happened in Minneapolis. This is about Kalamazoo. And mm -hmm. that's what, why we want to be part of the conversation. Um, and I do want to just say we are um, part of a small group that is working on a May 25th um, which is the anniversary of, of, of his murder on May 25th. We're going to have eyes open K, K Zoo. It's 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 a it's going to be a it's a small group that's going to be in Bronson Park, bringing people together. And, right. and the name of the event is Eyes Open K Zoo. Eyes Open K Zoo. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I mean that right there is a is a great way to to end our um, our discussion today. Um, that we all keep our eyes open and are reminded to keep our eyes open, and that um, as you said, we here in Kalamazoo are trying to do that <laughs> in every Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Know? Yes. Thank you so much, Chris. I so appreciate you, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you when I come by. And um, you know, check out uh, the the mural inside, and also thank you. just make sure you're supported. So, all right. Great. Well, thank, thank you, you so Bianca. much. Thank you. Good to talk. You too.